Hey everyone, welcome to your workout. Let's get started with some floor exercises, then we'll come up to our knees and then do a couple of like squatting in place exercises. So the first one we're gonna do is swimming on the floor. I'm gonna turn and angle a little bit differently. So we're doing low to high. So swimming on the floor, your arms and legs are extended and you're just gonna lift an opposite arm to an opposite leg. Staying strong. Now we're gonna do swan dives. So your arms are gonna go out wide and as you lift up, the legs and the arms come up at the same time. So like you're diving into a lake as a swan would do. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna press up and get a little stretch into our lower abs and look to the right and to the left. Drop the shoulders back. We're just getting warmed up a little bit. Now we're gonna work on our posture a little bit. So arms are gonna go down to the floor. The feet are gonna go out wider and they're gonna um, be pressed into the floor. So. Uh, not toes down, but the, the top of the foot is down. And we're doing a cobra stretch that is good for your posture. And just hold it like this. Get a deep stretch into your abs and lower body. If you need to see a different angle, so my feet, are pressed into the floor and my arms are down and you're pushing yourself up. So again, you're down on your forearms. I'm just showing a few angles. Down on your forearms and your feet are pressed into the mat. And there you go. Not sure if that's a very good angle or not. Let's just go ahead and come up to our knees for a, a thigh stretch. So we're going to put our imaginary bar in front of us as if we're on the Cadillac. And you're just going to lean back holding your bar. You can get a prop if you want one. Anything you might have. You can even put a strap in your hands for a visual reference. Now we're going to press our imaginary bar down for a chest expansion exercise using control. You could also use some independent dumbbells or any kind of like stick or spatula that you might have. Relax the shoulders. Now we're going to take it to the side a little spine twist added in and press down. Just doing a little twist. And then twist your arms around to stretch your lower back out. A little spine twist. And then walk your knees around. Well, I'm walking my knees around because I'm on video demonstrating and press down to the opposite side. And then wrap your arms around and twist it and get a little stretch. 
Then we're gonna drop back into our singles. Use your core to lift you up and stretch back. about 20 if you want to stretch out a little bit more in yoga this is a variation of the camel pose so put your hands on your hips and press forward and if you can if you want to take it down to your heels to give it a little challenge go ahead and try that otherwise stay at the hip level and stretch just relax your neck and then carefully walk it back up. Now we're gonna do our little fun ski jumper exercises, hands behind the head. So you're gonna come down and lift up. We're doing the middle, middle row here. Good little back stretch. Round out the shoulders. We can do a few more to the side. So we'll do like 20 to the right and 20 to the left. So you're gonna push your hip, the opposite hip down and come up. Targeting the obliques. That was about 20 of those. Then we're going to do the other side. Do some gentle, that was a little bit fast. Push your hand down. So stretching out your neck, you can even pull a gentle pull to your neck. Carefully, and then you can pull just gently. We're gonna do our little squatting push-up exercises. So we started down on the floor, we came up to our knees, and now we're putting our feet together like a ballerina plie. And you can lift your heels off the floor and push up. Now we're going to do our little kickback, single leg kickback, push down and kick back. Then from here, you're just gonna swing that leg straight back. Pump it up. And bring it back down. We'll go ahead and switch and do the other leg 
We're just gonna do the swing back and then we'll do the squat since we're here. Get a good kick, balance here, swing it back. Okay, now we're gonna do the little, the little kick back squat. stretch where we get deep into our hamstrings, drop the head down, and similar to a downward facing dog in yoga, that's a good deep stretch. Okay, now we'll get down on the floor, we got a few minutes to do some abs, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let's go for <laughs> things not in my hair. All right, so just reach up, touch the knees, come up as high as you can. Somebody's having fun. exercise. So we're reaching up. You can karate chop the leg or leave it up the whole time. Okay, let's switch and do the other one. One leg is down, one leg is up, or you can swing it up each time like this. You're gonna feel these. heels on the floor and let's see, I don't want to face my foot to the camera put one hand out to the side and reach the elbow for the knee for 50 on each side Now we'll do the other side. Put the arm, extend this arm out and reach for that knee. Yeah. 
49, 50. Roll it up and we're gonna just stretch it out. We have like a couple of seconds left. Just push up again the same way we started. Look to the right and to the left and drop the shoulders and then stretch out your back, your lower back. We'll roll it up and we're done. Have a great rest of the night. Bye.